Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Dear students and every visitors of my youtube channel This video is the 15th video of English paragraph writing or EPW series in this channel The topic of this video is about review on EPW course part 1 some essential points are discovered in this video, so if you have any question or feedback, you may write question and feedback in the comment section beneath this video. Alright, please listen carefully. Some important parts of this video are displayed in writing one book, so if you have any suggestions about the materials i would be very pleased to read your suggestion and comments the first part of this review is that the importance of understanding among the students about themselves in my understanding i divided type of students into three they are good students best students and critical students good students respect what they learn best students love what they learn critical students review what they learn so my question to you all dear students is that what type of students you are whether you are good students best students or critical students Whatever decision that you make when you decide the type of students you are, you need to stick with the idea that whatever you learn, you need to respect that, and whatever you learn, you need to love it, and after that, you need to review what you have learned, so that everything that you learn will be yours. And you can carry them throughout the rest of your lives after you finish this course. Six traits of writing. We have ideas and content, organization, voice, word choice, sentence fluency, and convention. As you can see in the slide, in terms of ideas and content, we have six items. You should get to the point, use your senses, state details over generalization, you describe or you state your ideas, especially like you paint a picture, narrow your topic, and observe and tell. In terms of organization, you have to have a strong lead in your first sentence, keep up the pace, gather information, guide your reader, link ideas together, and with a bang. When it comes to the voice, you should have to be you or to be authentic. You should be an expert of what you write. You have come alive in your writing. And make your writing sparkle as well as connect with your reader with full of energy in your writing. When it is about word choice, you have to write with a perspective. Be precise, clear and colorful. Words must convey mood. You should use uh, powerful verbs and you need to show the meaning. In terms of the sentence fluency, you should vary sentence structure and length. The sentence should have rhythm and you need to check the flows of your writing the words that uh, you use in the first sentence is for fair, uh, contain variety and you have smooth transitions it should also easy to read aloud the last one is convention you need to look up words follow grammar rules know your editing symbols use paragraph breaks Hound down errors and check the punctuation of your writing. After we review this material, now we come to this slide that the basic paragraph structure 
is that a paragraph has the topic sentence, the supporting ideas, and the concluding sentence. The topic sentence has functions to tell the readers what the paragraph is about. Meanwhile, the supporting ideas means that you develop the topic sentence and you give ideas that support it. The last part of a paragraph is the concluding sentence. It means that you restate the topic sentence in a different way. The last one is that the checklist. You need to follow five items when you want to check your paragraph. First, I have intended my paragraph. Second, each of my sentences begins with a capital letter and ends with a period, a question mark or an exclamation point. Third, each of my sentences begins with the previous sentence ended. Fourth, I have doubled space my paragraph. Fifth, I have appropriate markings on both sides of my page. Boatman, page 17. Linda Suski, as quoted in the website of SIUE, Southern Illinois University at Woodsville, she wrote that all assessment is a perpetual work in progress. So it means that when your lecturer or me would like to assess your writing, then it means that it is a perpetual work in progress. Benjamin Franklin has mentioned an interesting quote for many uh, scholars in the field of education. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. So in this English paragraph writing course, not only I tell you about what paragraph is, I also teach you the concepts of the paragraph and then you need to write the paragraph as a form of I involve you so that you learn about the paragraph in English. In terms of assessing writing, I quote Sarah Cushing Wegel, page 116, who also quoted Jacobson's. We have five items to be assessed in your writing. The first one is the content. There are four criteria to analyze the content. The first one is excellent to very good, which range from 27 to 30. Good to average, from 22 to 26. Fair to poor, the score will be 17 until 21. And the lowest score in the content section is that it is very poor, ranging from 13 to 16. If you would like to get the excellent to very good score, then you need to show that you are knowledgeable in your writing. Your writing should be substantive. You show thorough development of thesis and the writing should be relevant to a signed topic. So for the rest, you may read carefully so that you could see how content is assessed in this English paragraph writing course. The second aspect in assessing writing is organization. Similar to the content, Organization also has four levels of criteria. The highest one is excellent to very good, and then followed by good to average, fair to poor, and the last one is very poor. In terms of the score, if you would like to get excellent to very good, which ranges from 18 to 20, you need to show fluent ex expression in the organization. Ideas clearly stated or supported. Your paragraph should be succinct. It is well organized. It has logical sequencing. And your paragraph should have cohesive devices used in it. 
so if you would like to have excellent to very good score you need to show the evidence of these items in terms of the vocabulary we have uh, excellent to very good ranging from 18 to 20 and the lowest score is very poor between 7 to 9 the highest score is excellent to very good it should have sophisticated range and the vocabulary show effective word or idiom choice and usage and then the word for mastery as well as the use of appropriate register in your writing for the aspect of the language use the range of excellent to very good is 22 to 25 and then followed by good to average from 18 to 21 fair to poor between 11 to 17 and the lowest score is very poor which range from 5 to 10 students who get excellent to very good usually show that effective complex constructions it has few errors of agreement tense number word order or function articles pronouns and preposition so in terms of the language use that students will have low score which is very poor if virtually no mastery of sentence construction rules and dominated by errors as well as the writing does not communicate or not enough to evaluate the last item to be assessed is mechanics mechanics have also four levels of grade the first one is excellent to very good followed by good to average fair to poor and the last one is very poor if students would like to have the excellent to very good score which is five the paragraph should demonstrate mastery of convention few errors of spelling punctuation capitalization and paragraphing meanwhile for the score of four good to average the paragraph should have occasional errors of spelling punctuation capitalization paragraphing but meaning not obscured as you can see in the slide the lower score is very poor when the students should show no mastery of convention dominated by errors of spelling punctuation capitalization paragraphing handwriting legible and not enough to evaluate therefore the writing will have very poor score in terms of the mechanics the last part is that if you have any question or feedback please write them down in the comment section thank you have a good day assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh